Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is digital signature. A digital signature is equivalent to a handwritten signature. It is an electronic verification of the sender. A digital signature serves three purposes. 1. Authentication. A digital signature gives the receiver reason to believe the message was created and sent by the claimed sender. 2. Non-repudiation. With a digital signature, the sender cannot deny having sent the message later on. 3. Integrity. A digital signature ensures that the message was not altered in transit. Digital signatures are commonly used for software distribution, financial transaction, and other cases where it's important to detect forgery and tampering. Digital signatures are very popular with email users. Let me demonstrate how digital signature works. Here is the scenario. Bob is sending a memo to Alice with his digital signature. Keep in mind, digital signature uses a symmetric cryptography, which means public key algorithm is employed. First, Bob generates two keys, public key and a private key. Bob keeps the private key and gives Alice, the receiver, the public key. After creating a memo, Bob generates a digest by hashing his memo using some hash algorithm. Bob then encrypts the digest with his private key. This encrypted digest is the digital signature for the memo. Bob sends both of the memo and the digital signature to Alice. Notice here the memo is not encrypted. We only focus on the digital signature. When Alice receives them, she will do two things. One, Alice decrypts the digital signature using Bob's public key and she gets the digest. If she cannot decrypt the digital signature, then she knows it did not come from Bob because only Bob's public key is able to decrypt the digest generated with his private key. 2. Once Alice gets the digest, she will check the integrity of the memo. Here is what she does. Alice hashes the memo with the same hash algorithm Bob used and compares the result to the digest she received. If they are equal, Alice can be confident that the memo has not changed since Bob signed the memo. If the digests are not equal, Alice will know the memo has changed in transit. Last, I want to point out one common confusion about a digital signature. Using digital signature does not encrypt the message itself. In this example, Bob is sending his plain text memo to Alice. If he wanted to encrypt his memo, he would have to use Alice's public key, which is another story in another video. Thank you very much and see you next time.